Well, just before we talk about um, the budget, we have to be looking at the housing sector development. Like I said earlier during my introduction, on Thursday, the federal government launched the Nigeria Mortgage Refinancing Corporation. What does this uh, initiative stand to achieve? These are the issues we will be looking on this segment at this moment. And I have um, two gentlemen here with me to discuss the issue. Femi Johnson, he is the chairman, Mortgage Banks Association of Nigeria. Good morning, Mr. Femi. Good morning. Yeah, and um, I have Hakim Ogunero. He's the CEO, USC Property Development Company. Good morning, Mr. Good Hakim. morning. Good morning. Pleased to be here. Well, let me start with you, Mr. Femi. When, when you heard about the Nigeria Refinancing uh, Corporation, what came to your mind when the federal government first announced that it was going to introduce this cooperation what came to your mind okay well essentially um, we worked with the government in setting this up as you know the nmrc nigeria mortgage refinance company is a public private partnership so it was an incubation of the public and private sectors together now the government is the sponsor you know but clearly the nmrc is going to change the face of housing in nigeria beyond um, housing is also going to create jobs for the Timian populace. We expect at least 500,000 jobs to be created. We expect housing statistics to improve exponentially. So this was a welcome development, not just for Nigerians, for mortgage banks, and for lenders as well. Uh, you are into property uh, development. development. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what, were, what was your thought when you heard about N NMRC? Okay, I mean, clear, um, clearly we also are very excited, and um, we've, been, we've been following this now for since the beginning. Um, I think we have to step up a bit to understand that the NMRC is part of a larger program. That's the Nigeria Housing Finance Program. And the NMRC is just a, a key component of that. You know, for us as developers, we're excited because um, as a developer, your worry is whether you have guaranteed uptake for your products. So with NMRC, we know that if mortgage is available at um, reasonable tenor and at affordable interest rate to Nigerians, so I'm sure of um, guaranteed uptake for my development. It also means that once I have off-takers, you know, I could quickly pay down um, my loan, which, uh, because there are two funding problems at the construction end. So once you have off-takers, it becomes easy for you to also fund your construction, you know. So at both ends of the funding problem, the, the NMRC helps to um, significantly address uh, those problems. Now, if I may ask you, Mr. Johnson, what is the current, you know, state of mortgages in Nigeria right now? Okay, um, we have several lenders. We've got mortgage banks. We've got a few commercial banks who participate actively in mortgages. But today we have about 20,000 mortgages outstanding, um, which are a bit above 100 billion in terms of value. That's the current state right now. And what is the affordability? Because a lot of people complain that they can't afford mortgage. I mean, for an uh, ordinary Nigerian who would want to own a house and uh, perhaps you know what it takes even to build you yeah. need a mortgage yeah. or to even get yeah. your own home an already made home i understand you perfectly now affordability has three different components to it okay first there's the cost of the house itself second there's the interest rate of the mortgage loan and then third there's the income of the would-be borrower now in terms of income the labor laws say that you cannot service a mortgage loan with more than 33 one third percent of your salary so for someone earning a hundred thousand for example the person can only spend thirty three thousand in servicing a mortgage loan so whatever your monthly repayments would be from taking a loan shouldn't be more than thirty three thousand if you were earning a hundred thousand for example now that's what brings affordability in so when the interest rates are high it increases your monthly repayments right and that then reduces what you can actually afford to buy so today for example someone on minimum age minimum wage would not be able to say for example buy a home because what you'll be paying at the end of each month will be more than the 5,500 naira or 6,000 that is one third of your salary that you're supposed to repay back now um mr hakeem you are a property developer and we know that um, aside from the interest rate perhaps we have other issues such as high cost of building materials and um, land issues that contribute to the high price of um, housing. How do you think this can actually be dealt with? Okay, um, I mean, clearly, um, if you look at what NMR, I mean, I think the exciting thing about NMRC is that it anticipates um, um, that we really have to tackle the other issues because if you look at the value chain for housing delivery, 
there are critical issues along the value chain. I always say that the greatest problem is the issue of title um, ac and access to land. You know, but if you look at what NMRC has tried to do, there's a component of the overall program which deals with um, working on the enabling environment. Uh, I know that the federal government is working with some, with some states to look at the issue of title, the issue of um, perfection of title, the cost involved. Because today, part of the problems is that to perfect your title, you might, you might be spending up to 20% of the capital value of the property, you know, and that's just way out. You know, so um, there's, an, there's an attempt to also deal with that. There's another policy to address the issue of um, housing construction in terms of quality, efficiency, of, and volume. You know, and there's another attempt to look at the overall value chain and see how we can create the right platform to deliver houses uh, which are uh, affordable. So the NMRC is only um, tackling one end of the problem at the moment. Now, when we keep talking about this NMRC, Nigerian Refinancing uh, Corporation, a lot of people really don't understand what, you know, the the modalities or the workabilities, you yeah. know. So can you just explain, at least for the benefit of those who probably did not really understand, can you explain what this MRC is all about and how it works, the functionality? Okay. The NMRC is an acronym for Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company. Okay. It's a secondary mortgage bank that would refinance loans for primary lenders. So mortgage banks will go out and create loans, grant loans. Commercial banks would also grant loans. And NMRC will refinance these loans. So NMRC is going to handshake the capital market, raise long-term money via quality bonds from institutional investors, maybe pension fund administrators, and other types of companies like that. It will raise long-term money and then use this money to refinance mortgages you know, for the primary lenders. Now the beauty of this is, Primary lenders can go ahead and lend, knowing that they can always refinance, get liquidity, and continue to lend. So that increases the lending exponentially. As long as they're raising money from the capital market, they can continue to lend. That essentially is how it's going to work. But like Mr. Gunu has said, there are other components of it as well. So it's going to do a lot of advocacy, a lot of market development, you know, issues of titling, issues of land registry, issues of governor's consent being sped up, issues of cost being reduced, and all of that are also worked in. You know, it's going to also be micro housing finance for the very low end. You you know, that's different from mortgage finance. It's micro housing finance, incremental building. So I want to add another room. My family is growing. I want to add another room to my house. I want to add an extra toilet. I want a roof, you know, things like that. I want to raise it up, you know, from being a bungalow. All of those things, you know, would also fall in into the broader aspect. All right. So how do you think this can actually change you know, the face of mortgages in Nigeria? Okay. Uh, um uh, let's, let's step back a bit also and understand the problems at the moment. The problems at the moment is that um, it's difficult to, ha to access mortgages, um, it, the rates are very high, and the tenure is, um, the tenure is too short. You know, so what N NMRC does is to, like um, Femi has said, is to make liquidity available for um, mortgage lenders such that they can lend long term and at much lower interest rates. You know, and like I said, it has multiplier effect because as developers, we're always worried as to whether or not you have people who will buy your homes. You have off-takers. You know, so you can see the, how it works. Once the NMRC makes long-term funding available to uh, mortgage lenders, they're able to online to Nigerians. Nigerians are able to buy the houses. Money comes, comes back into the hands of developers. They're able to develop more. You know, and like he also said, it, it begins to it begin to have multiply effect in terms of job creation. Because if you go to a typical site, in fact, it's been estimated that for every home you construct, you have about six, addi six additional jobs being created. So you go to a typical site, you see a consultant, you see contractors, you see food sellers, and things like that. You know, so it has the, it has this multiply effect on the, on the whole of the economy. But um, and beyond what is said about making funding available, part of the objective of NMRC also is to standardize mortgage practices. You know, because that is also critical. Let us have standards which the whole industry can follow. And the advocacy end is also critical because we also need to tackle the other problems. And part of the key um, uh, deliverable, I believe, of this is also to, um, to actively work with other institutions to create the right envir uh, um, uh, enabling environment for us to deliver the homes.